Embedded Engineers, Developers, and Makers. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from embedded computing design. It's Friday, January 24th, 2025, and I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design, and these are our top stories this week. First off, a Leaf Semiconductor has introduced the second generation of its ensemble family of MCUs and fusion processors, leveraging the latest neural processing unit from ARM. The devices include on-chip memory, featuring a pair of ARM Cortex M55 CPUs, coupled to Ethos U85 NPUs, a Leaf's AIPM granular power management, a hardware-isolated secure enclave, and various avenues to stream image, sound, and sensor data. Paul Williamson, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the IoT line of business at ARM, said, With the world's first implementation of Ethos U85 in an endpoint AI MCU, Alif is enabling on-device generative AI, which is particularly valuable in voice and vision applications. OEMs can now embed AI into battery-powered applications, illustrating why Edge AI is being built on the energy-efficient ARM compute platform. An important step in achieving generative AI at the Edge, to be sure. And you can find the link to that story and all the details in the description. Our next story will be exciting for fans of the Rust programming language. Ferris Systems has announced that its flagship Rust toolchain, Ferrisene, has achieved IEC 62304 Class C qualification for medical device software. Ferrisene is an open source qualified Rust compiler toolchain for safety and mission critical applications. It is qualified for Automotive, ISO 26262, ASIL D, Industrial Development, IEC 61508, SIL 4, and Medical, IEC 62304, Class C Standards. This latest relief, Ferrisene, release Ferrisene 24.11, is currently qualified for use on x86-64 Linux and ARM V8A bare metal and QNX Neutrino 710 for x86-64 and ARM V8A. The source code of Ferrisene is fully open source under the MIT or Apache 2.0 licenses, including the full qualification documents. Rust is gaining traction throughout the embedded space because of its safety, reliability, and robust nature, and the medical device industry is getting right on board. Rust's use in cybersecurity also aligns with regulatory demands like Section 524B of the FDNC Act, which requires manufacturers to maintain a strong cybersecurity posture, and the FDA's final guidance on cybersecurity and medical devices, emphasizing the importance of secure software development practices, risk management, and cybersecurity measures throughout the medical device lifecycle. Check out the show notes for the link to that full story as well. Uh, all of these stories, of course, are on embeddedcomputing.com, home of embedded computing design. Finally, we are featuring Persepio, which this week announced its new Persepio Detect, a tool for testing, debugging, and observability in embedded systems. Persepio Detect supports observability-driven development, or ODD. The company said, enhancing DevOps for embedded systems through its extension of CICT workflows. Johan Kraft, CTO and founder of Persepio AB, said, This tool is like adding an advanced early warning system to your embedded software projects. Persepio Detect ensures developers catch anomalies before they escalate into costly problems. It was designed for edge devices and real-time operations in particular, so it includes real-time brittleness risk analysis and actionable debugging insights. Persepio will be at Embedded World 2025, co-exhibiting with the Zephyr product, Project and Linux Foundation if you want to take a look at it for yourself. You can find out more about all these stories by following their links in the description. And of course, if you're going to be at Embedded World 2025 in March in Nuremberg, Germany, Embedded Computing Design will be there as well. So if you want to meet up with us or you want to find out how we can enhance your appearance at Embedded World, make sure you send us a note. All that contact information is down in the show notes. That is it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss, coming out every Monday. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube or anywhere on the web so you don't miss any of our shows and follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and all across social media. Please reach out if you'd like to advertise on In Case You Missed It. Links are all in the description, and that's our show. I've been your host, Ken Briota, and make sure that you never miss an episode of In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights. See you next week.